known and loved by many. He is a great preacher, a great lover of our Lord, and uh, promotes true devotion to Mary. But he's also said some very controversial things. Father Rodrigue was actually the youngest of 23 children and began to have a vocation of a religious life at the age of three. I'm taking this intro, by the way, from the book of Xavier Eral called Revelations, which I very much encourage you to get. Xavier is going to join us on this program as well, and I know many of you know him already for he's been here a couple of times before. Xavier goes on to explain that very much like Padre Pio, God the Father began to speak to Father Michel Rodrigue at the tender age of three years old. God began to speak to me, he says. And these are quotes from Father Michel Rodrigue. This, too, creates the controversy around him, but I'm going to explain more about the controversy in a second. But this is a quote from Mother, Father Michel Rodrigue explaining how he was religiously formed at a very, very young age. Get this. God began to speak to me, and we began to have regular conversations. I remember sitting under a big tree behind the home on our family's farm and asking God, who made this tree? I did, in quotes, God answered. And when he pronounced the word I, I was suddenly given a vast view of the earth, the universe, and myself, and I understood that everything was made and held in existence by him, that's by God. I thought that everyone talked to God the Father. From three to six, the Lord instructed me in the faith and gave me a thorough theological education. He also told me when I was three that I would be a priest. End quote. So, Father Michel Rodrigue is known and loved by many. He is a great preacher, a great lover of our Lord, and uh, promotes true devotion to Mary. But he's also said some very controversial things. Some things about the future, because as we said, He's a mystic. And so he's received or says he's received these revelations about what's coming. One of the things he said that I'd like you to check out is that and it was said a number of years ago, but he talked about the coming one world religion. And it has a lot of similarities to what we're experiencing with this new Pachamama mass thing that seems to be coming out in May, has similarities to the Amazonian Synod. Take a listen for yourself. This is important to realize this last day, this stressing time will come, you know. This is what we are. Yes, they will implement this new religion with this primitive rites. And through this rite, you know, it will become a kind of uh, an opening, uh, an opening a religion for every denomination. And at that moment, you will feel that it will be has universal fraternity. It means just horizontal. Universal fraternity. And after that, you know, they will be able to accommodate everyone inside of this. And what will happen to Jesus? He will, he will be put on a side. He will become a master among other masters in their philosophy of life. So it means he will not be the only mediator between humanity and the Father. But that's not why Father Rodrigue is in controversy right now. I'm sure that's why the bishop has put certain restrictions on him so that he's retired himself at this point. But there's more that he's said. He talks about refuges that our Lord or Our Lady has urged him to tell people to develop these refuges, places that they consecrate to our Lord, and therefore they will be used in the time of chastisement where people can flee to them and survive what's coming. Hi, everyone. This is John Henry Weston. We hope you enjoyed this program. To see more like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get all the latest content from LifeSite News. Check the links in the description to read more and connect with us on social media so that you can stay up to date with all the latest life, family, faith, and freedom news. Thanks for watching, and may God bless you.